This video was made possible by CuriosityStream. For a limited time, get their bundle deal with Nebula, the streaming platform HAI is on, for just $12 a year at curiositystream.com slash HAI. Welcome to the best internet video ever. It has everything. Planes, vacuum cleaners, marketing blunders, the British royal family, corporate humiliation, Italian appliance companies, and most importantly, planes. Now, if you're one of those fussy crumpet munchers that we call the Brits, you'll know that Hoover is a company that makes vacuums. In the UK, you don't even call it vacuuming, you call it hoovering. Like how Brits call cookies biscuits, or call fries chips, or call six raccoons in an unconvincing human suit Prince Philip. Now, back in 1992, amidst Bill Clinton getting elected, Batman returning, and Macaulay Culkin getting lost in New York, Hoover discovered that they had a surplus of vacuum cleaners and washing machines, and so they decided to hold a promotion to get rid of them. A promotion so insane that it makes MoviePass look like Microsoft. Any customer that spent £100 or more on a vacuum cleaner or washing machine would get two round-trip tickets to select European destinations. Of course, round-trip international flights were generally worth much more than vacuum cleaners, so to keep things profitable, Hoover had a plan. First, they would try to upsell anyone who tried to spend just the minimum £100 requirement, convincing them to buy pricey accessories or a more expensive model, and second, they would reduce the number of tickets that they actually had to hand out by making the process of getting the tickets more confusing and convoluted than YouTube's Content ID appeal system. First, after spending at least £100 on their product, customers had to mail a receipt and application to Hoover within 14 days. Then, Hoover would mail them a registration form, which they had to mail back in 14 days. Then, Hoover would mail a travel voucher, and customers had to choose a date, point of departure, and destination, and mail that back to Hoover, but Hoover could reject those choices. If that happened, customers could mail in a new selection, but Hoover could also reject that, and then Hoover had the right to select the flights themselves, which the customers could either take or leave. It was a brilliant business strategy. For each person, they'd either lose hundreds of pounds or infuriate customers through intentional inconveniences. If there's one thing I know about business, it's that you should lose lots of money and make all your customers hate you. I mean, hey, it worked for Uber. At first, the plan worked. The surplus was getting bought up, and because of the bureaucracy, only about 10% of customers actually redeemed their flights. But then, Hoover made what many consider to be one of the worst business decisions in the history of business, right up there with New Coke and the DC Extended Universe. They doubled down and expanded the offer to include round-trip flights from the UK to America. That, on its face, sounds totally insane, but when you actually dig into the numbers, it turns out it was totally insane. Apparently, the people at Hoover didn't only suck dust off carpets, they also sucked at math. You see, the most popular vacuum model to meet the £100 minimum was this, the TurboPower Total System, which sold for £119.99. For each TurboPower sold, Hoover made about £30, but two round-trip tickets from the UK to America cost about £600. That means for every person redeeming tickets, Hoover lost Okay, subtract, carry the one, square root, math words. For every ticket redeemed, Hoover lost 570 pounds. They advertised their offer in print ads that read, two return tickets. Unbelievable. But people did believe it, so much so that Hoover saw a surge in sales more than 10 times what they had expected. They not only blew through their surplus, they had to nearly double the staff in their flagship plant just to keep up with demand, but even though they were selling more vacuums than ever, they were losing millions. Soon, 300,000 people bought TurboPowers in order to get their two tickets, which meant that if Hoover honored all those requests, they'd be looking at a loss of 171 million pounds which is, you know, bad. And so, Hoover desperately tried to do everything they could to deny people flights. They said that thousands had filled the forms out wrong, they assigned customers to flights that departed hundreds of miles away, they even got into the holiday spirit by sending their request forms out on Christmas in the hopes that a combination of mail closures and holiday distractions would keep people from responding within the 14-day window. Soon, customers discovered what Hoover was up to, and an entire interest group, the Hoover Holiday Pressure Group, formed and demanded that Hoover clean up their mess, and eventually, the courts got involved and Hoover was put under legal order to fork over the tickets. In the end, Hoover sold about £30 million more in vacuums and washing machines, but had to pay out about £72 million in flights for 220,000 customers. 
still less than half of what they owed, which meant that they both lost millions and made millions furious. The PR fallout was so bad that the British royal family even revoked Hoover's royal warrant, which is a weird kind of endorsement the royals give to certain British companies because the royal family is weird and makes no sense and is partially headed up by several raccoons in a human suit. But the PR wasn't even the worst part, because to get their flights, people had bought a ton of vacuums they didn't need, which for years and years would be handed off as gifts or sold on the secondary market. In other words, now Hoover wasn't able to sell any vacuums because everyone already had one, or more likely, three of them. In the end, several executives were fired, the company was nearly bankrupted, and Hoover Europe was sold off to an Italian appliance company called Candy, giving a sweet end to a salty story. Now, time for an epilogue. There's another epic business blunder going on right now. You know CuriosityStream, the streaming site that has all those documentaries, you know, Stephen Hawking, Jane Goodall, all their things? Well, nobody tell them or anything, but their website is currently selling a year subscription for just $12. Which is just like, what? Okay, but also, and again, nobody tell them, if you use our link, curiositystream.com slash HAI, that'll also get you a free subscription to Nebula, the streaming site that HAI and tons of other educational YouTubers are on. In fact, on there you can watch all HAI and Wendover videos ad-free, plus big special exclusive projects. So before they find out, sign up for a year of CuriosityStream and Nebula for just $12 at curiositystream.com slash HAI.